What is up everybody? It's your boy Antoboss here. Welcome back to a brand new Madden Ultimate Team video. I have a lot to cover and we start things off with the Aaron Rodgers bonus card. This is basically free just like last week how they gave you Richard Sherman. This week you're going to get the 81 overall quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Now, a legendary bundle is the first thing that we're going to take care of. This comes with three legendary packs and a bundle topper, a legendary bundle topper. Here we go. Let's see how we're going to start this. We get a Troy Aikman collectible, Jeremy Lane. You're going to see a lot of gold players out of these packs. Team of the week, Brandon Marshall. That goes in the, I think, the Michael Sam collection. Nick Fairley, 85 overall defensive tackle. And we end things off with D'Amico Ryan. That was a lot of gold players. Franco Harris collectible, Don Barclay, Major Wright, and Silas Red. This guy had a big preseason for us, and he goes into a collection as well, big collection. So Nick Roach is what we ended off with. So the last legendary pack. What can we expect out of this? Kyle Arrington, okay. Lance Moore, John Greco, and a Troy Aikman collectible, Sammy Hill. And the last card is Eric Pierce. So let's go to the legend topper what are we gonna get and it is a warren moon collectible i thought it was gonna be a player but look you got these teams of the week collections the sets to do i decided to go ahead and complete the michael sam collection which had five players that you can go ahead and insert into 86 overall right end also there's a brand new rising stars haha <laughs> clinton Dix. And you also have John Mike Mackey, the brand new legend. And that's basically the new things, new promotions that are going on right now. So I decided, you know what? I I'm going to keep on opening packs until we get some sort of elite card. I mean, I mean, it's been ridiculous lately. Nothing so far. I've only pulled, like, what, two elite cards so far? My uh, that's not. I got to step up my game for sure. And the reason why I have so many coins is because I did get rid of John Abraham, the flashback. I put him up on the auctions for about 150k. Okay, I'm going to do two more and then I'm done. 7,500 coins down the drain. Let's see if it's going to be worth it. We get Darren College. And is that it? Come on. All right, one more. We're going to literally empty my piggy bank. We're down to 7,000 coins. Raven Stadium. Where are we going to get out of this? Is it going to be an elite or a gold or even a legend? And it is Melvin Ingram. So here's what my lineup looks right now. We're still going to go ahead and continue to start Steven Jackson, even though we have Frank Gore. Michael Sam has been inserted to my team. And I know you guys have seen Prince Amukamara. The reason why you see him is because I was opening up packs, wasn't recording, and I got him out of uh, pro packs. So there you have it. 7 and 0 oh so far. We're going to go ahead and start off week number 8. If we get a victory here, we will have a first round bye. So I'm taking on the Jets right here. Well, my opponent is wearing the Jets uniforms. Got Deshaun Jackson return. Got a few good blocks, but still nowhere to go. We're at the 29-yard line. That is where we will kick off our first possession. Hand off to Steven Jackson. Nowhere to go. Second and eight. Now, look at this. What kind of blocking was that? Dunlap easily reached me for a sack. Third and 17 now. Pressure is coming. I kind of did like a comeback route with Jordy Nelson, but it was short. I decided to go for it, taking a risk early on in the game here. That is too easy, though. Cam Newton once again finds Antonio Gates. This guy has been big these last two plays. Another handoff now to Steven Jackson. Nowhere to go. He's been quiet these past two games. But finally, he gets something going here. Finds the hole, picks up a first down. We're moving the chains. We go to the second quarter now. Cam Newton. He's going to scramble. Gets one block from Antonio Gates. Picks up 13 yards on the play. Run up the middle. That was read option, and I read that one perfectly. Steven Jackson bring out the red carpet. My opponent, he has Colin Kaepernick, our quarterback, and also Reggie Bush. And I think his backup was Chris Johnson. So here he is right here. His first pass of the day goes for 23 yards. Colin Kaepernick looking good already. He gives a handoff to Reggie Bush. Whoa, he got hurt. So on comes Chris Johnson. 
But look at Kaepernick once again, a dime. And with a minute left, he's doing everything he can here to tie up the game. Pressure is coming in. That one almost gets picked off. So my opponent decided to go for the field goal to make this a 7-3 game. Now I have a timeout. And there's a minute left. That's still a lot of time. So I'm definitely going to try to get at least a field goal as well. Here's Jordy Nelson. Nice. That is exactly what we needed. So let's go ahead and call our last timeout. Play action. Oh my goodness. How did he not get me down? I'm going to scramble and step out of bounds. And that is exactly what we do. That is my boy Cam Newton right there. What a beast. Cam Newton once again. Look at this. Mike Evans step out of bounds. Perfect so far. And you know what? We decided to go for the field goal to end the half. It's now 10-3. to But yo, my opponent still has two timeouts. Here's Kaepernick. Look at Nick Fairley. Bring him down. All right, let's go ahead and kick off the second half now. I feel confident my defense really, really has been putting on the pressure. Colin Kaepernick, he looks shaky right there in the pocket. So let's see what's going to happen here in the second half. Colin Kaepernick. Okay, that's nice. Th that was very nice, actually. Kaepernick on second and four steps back and finds Mike Evans. So he looks good here to start off the second half. A handoff to Chris Johnson. He has to be careful, man, because these running backs have been getting popped in again. How did he hang on to the ball? Third and five. Much needed first down for my opponent. And he get. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. But he's going to go for it here early on. I mean, I think it's too early to go for it. Fourth and five here in the third quarter. A wide open Mike Evans. Just a terrible, terrible play calling on my end. And look at this. One up the middle. Another 10 yards for Reggie Bush. I hate to say it, but this drive looks really promising for my opponent. Once again, Mike Evans, man, he's been big today. On third and three, he converts. Marquise Colston. Kaepernick, second and goal, incomplete pass. You know he wants that one back. So here he is on third and goal. Mike Evans is just a yard short. So he hands it off to his fullback. The guy just broke a tackle and goes in for the touchdown. Look, look how big his fullback is. So I look at the clock. It's a two-minute drill with three timeouts. If you're made out of gladiator jeans, you're going to win this game. And that is exactly what I'm going to try to do here. Look at Steven Jackson. Breaks a tackle. Gets a first down. I caught my opponent off guard here. But I could not get the block. I mean, I could have taken that one for way more. Second and four now. Cam Newton finds Antonio Gates. He steps out of bounds. We still have not used any of our timeouts. And we got 52 seconds left here. Jordy Nelson. The guy does it again. Second and 10. Run up the middle. Look at Steven Jackson. A first down. And we are officially in easy field goal territory. I mean, we were already in field goal territory. But now it is just a chip shot. We're just going to get another handoff here. This time to Frank Gore. And I think... Yup, yup, this is it. Let's call our timeout and bring on Justin Tucker. The field goal is up and it is good. Let's go. 13 to 10. The undefeated season continues and we are going to have a first round bye as we are headed to the playoffs. So two more wins in the playoffs and we will be in the Super Bowl. Let's see what's going to happen. Look, a lot of people have been asking me, Ancho, what headsets do you use? Today, I'm going to answer everyone's questions. When I go out there to dominate or destroy whatever it is, whatever game it is, I use these right here, the Skull Candy Player 1s. Now, these, you can obviously use them for chatting online with your friends. And also, they're wireless. You can put them on and you can hear your game audio on your headset. I know what good sound quality is and the sound quality on this is top notch. I am not joking. The link is in the description. Check it out. It comes in black and white. And yeah. Oh, here, here's the front of the box. Is that? Can don't, I see? Can I see it? Don't put it too uh, close. Yo, don't yell at me. <laughs> here's the back of the box. Okay. There you have it, guys. There it is. Very nice. Very cool.